Hey guys, Gina back with another collection video and today is the first day that I get to unbox all of my vintage Christmas decorations that I have been collecting throughout the year. This is all brand new to me and it'll be brand new to you guys seeing it for the first time as well. I'm so excited. I've got my grandma's red Christmas cardigan on so I feel my grandma here with me right now. I've got the fire going. I've got my Christmas tree lit. Now I wish I could do vintage Christmas ornaments but I still have my toddler running around and I would just feel awful if one of them got broken so we're gonna do you know the non-breakable ones right now this year but I'm so excited because I have a whole stack of boxes that every time I get home from a yard sale or a thrift store or an estate sale I just throw I've been throwing the Christmas stuff in there I've tried not to peek in the boxes it's been really difficult especially since it's like two weeks into December now and I want to start decorating I just barely put all of my Halloween and Thanksgiving decorations away um, but this is gonna be well worth it I think there is gonna be a lot of really fun things and maybe even some nostalgic things to bring back to your memory and go oh my gosh my mom had that my grandma had that you know or my great aunt or whatever i'm so excited so let's dig in now the first thing i see is wrapped in newspaper so let's open that and see what it is oh my goodness it's a little santa look at how sweet he is and it looks like he's a little salt and pepper shaker too Looks like he's a little dirty. I'm gonna have to clean him, but I wonder if there's a Mrs. Claus in here somewhere. Let's find out. No, it's not. It is. Oh yes, it's a little bell, and it says 1983. That is the year I was born. So, if any of you can do the math, you can find out how old I am. <laughs> 1983 Hallmark Cards Inc. Made in Japan. And I love holly berries and ivy. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to see a lot of that in my collection. <laughs> Alright, let's see if there's a Mrs. Claus somewhere in here. Some more newspaper. Let's see, what's this? Oh, this feels like a cup or a mug. Ah! This is a Santa mug. And it's funny, I found this early in the year and I really wanted it. This is Luminark? I found this really early in the year and I think there's another one in here. Um, and I was a little disappointed because it was kind of faded and I was like, oh man, um, I'm kind of bummed about that. But I didn't want to leave them behind so I grabbed them. But I actually went to another estate sale and they literally had a box of like 50 of these and they were all brand new and so I grabbed them. So those are probably somewhere in another box somewhere. Here's a lid. So this must be a jar. Let's see what this is. This is exciting. This is totally like seeing it for the first time. Oh, and there's goodies inside. Oh, yay. You guys, this is so exciting. This is a bunch of, okay, so this first. This holds matches. Right here, he's got this little Santa tassel right here. And <laughs> one sad little matchstick in there. But hey, man, in case of emergencies, I know where to go. But yeah, there's this and there were two of them. This says Capri, February 1956. Wow, that is really old. And there's another one. His top is a little bit mangled, but still really super cute to display and then inside this jar is a bunch of holiday matchsticks um, or matchbooks right don't really see these anymore be safe close cover before striking hallmark i was gonna say it looks like the little hallmark snowman A super cute little bird on a wreath. Who knew Hallmark made matches? That's pretty crazy. Happy holidays. And there's a whole 
different bunch of matchbooks in there. And then this, I love this pattern. My mom had this growing up and it just reminds me of Christmas so much. This one doesn't have a tag on it, just a barcode. And then it looks like I got this from a Goodwill. But that was fun. It was like a bonus. Match, match sticks and stuff in there. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna show you guys this next. This was awesome. I have only been to one rummage sale and the rummage sale I went to was totally worth it. So awesome. Um, it was a church and of course, you know, they had all of their people from the congregation donate there. And so it was so exciting because there was tons of holiday stuff, tons of clothing, tons of books, tons of toys, tons of sport. I mean, it was like everything you could imagine a huge church rummage sale to be. And it was, it exceeded my expectations and I found so much stuff. And then their pricing of course was really good because it was going for a good cause. And of course I threw them some extra dollars so they could, you know, for their missions or whatever they were raising money for. But check out this tin this is so cool you guys i have never seen something like this before and it says original tiny tins by jamar but it does not have a date on it but what's even cooler than this is there's bonus stuff inside so let's pop the lid open and let's look inside Check out this little tea set, you guys. How sweet is this? This is gonna be so much fun to display this year. I can't wait. Have little tea parties with my son, made in Japan. But let's see, there's four of those. And then it even comes with, oh my gosh, you guys, this little saucer. How sweet is that? Such a cute little tea set. So adorable. So that was a really awesome find at that rummage sale. I really, I really love adding that to my collection now. My grandma had a ceramic Christmas tree growing up and I even think my mom had one, but I remember my grandma's because it was white and I always thought, how cool, a white Christmas tree. And so I was going through a Christmas box at a garage sale and I found a little one. This is so cute, you guys. I plugged it in and what was really neat about this one is it had a red bulb. So the red light shines through, which I think is really cool. If you guys have a clear bulb, you may want to try putting a colored bulb in instead. And it just, it just adds a different kind of ambiance to it and it looks really cool. So maybe I'll plug that in for you guys and show you what mine looks like. And I like the fact that it's small because it was not going to take up a whole bunch of room. Although some of those one big ceramic trees, <laughs> they're just so cool. Let's see if we can find Mrs. Claus. There's another thing wrapped right here. Oh no, it feels like another mug. This may be the other mug to that Santa. Oh no, it's different. Oh my gosh. I forgot. Oh, I forgot I found one of these. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen the winking ones? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And this one definitely has seen, you know, <laughs> better days, but the paint's a little worn, but sometimes I think it adds to the, you know, charm of the piece. This is very cute. Here's some more wrapped newspaper. Oh, no, what's this? What did I get? <laughs> ah, this must be a thrift store find. You guys, it's Garfield. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I was like 11, 12, and 13, oh my gosh, I had such an obsession with Garfield. Garfield, he is so classic. I love anything Garfield and collected so much Garfield. And I will do a Garfield collection video because I saved a lot of that stuff from when I was young. I even would take the tags off of like, you know, the pencils and stuff like that and cut the Garfield face off and stick it to my wall. I was a little obsessed. <laughs> I'm sure that cup was from the 80s, either late 70s or 80s. It doesn't have a date, but 
Garfield looks a little vintage there. This is one of the first Christmas things I found when I was starting to look for vintage stuff and the lady was selling it for $3 and I remember $3 because I just remember how gorgeous this was. I wasn't sure if it was vintage or not, but I definitely knew it was worth more than $3. Look at this, you guys. This is so beautiful. It's a silver, it's very heavy metal. Heavy metal. This was made by Goodinger Silver Art Co. Made in China, but you know, I looked it up online and I think these go for about $50. Um, but I just love it so much and it's not so much what it's worth but that it's worth something to me and it's just gorgeous. I just love all the details of the string garland and ornaments on there. I can't wait to display this this year. I'm excited. I forgot about this. I was garage selling one morning and there was a lady and I kid you not, she looked like she was in her late 80s and she had a bunch of boxes on the side of the house and she was taking these boxes and putting them in her car. And I had to stop and I had to ask her if she needed help. And she was like, no, I'm okay. Um, do you want any of this stuff? And I was like, oh gosh, um, what is it? <laughs> you know, and she's like, ah, well, my daughter, she used to live here. She moved and now she's moving back, but we're moving to a different place. And this is the stuff that she wants to donate. And if you want any of it, you can have it. And then it's less stuff for me to move. And so I was like, well, I can go through. And she goes, well, yeah, I'd like to go through it too. Cause maybe there's some stuff I want. So <laughs> we ended up going through a ton of boxes and she ended up giving me a ton of stuff, which was super sweet, not necessary, but I was like, oh my gosh, how strong is this lady? And it was hot that day too. So, <laughs> but she did it. She moved all of that stuff. You know, I came back later to check on her and make sure she didn't have a heat stroke or something. And she had, she had moved all that stuff so which is pretty amazing to me very impressive but this was something she gave me because she said she had a couple of them and I told her that I had a son but it says you are special today I think this is for people's birthdays and you know if you put their like fun breakfast on it or their slice of cake or whatever but I thought that was very sweet that she was like you need to give this um, to your husband and your son but this is from 19 79 made in West Germany the original red plate I haven't looked this up um, or anything but I just thought that that was pretty special and she was like you need to take this and so as your son grows you can put his breakfast on there every birthday and I thought that was pretty cool all right Mrs. Claus where are you Ooh, maybe she's in here no <laughs> it's not Mrs. Claus but it is another uh, salt and pepper shaker. It's a little boy Santa. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. This, is this Hallmark? Kind of looks like Hallmark to me. Let's see if we can find his Mrs. Claus. All right, who's in here? <laughs> There's one. Oh my goodness. She kind of reminds me of Strawberry Shortcake. So cute. And there's the little set together. All right, it feels like another mug. Yes, this is the other faded Santa mug. Oh, I don't even know what this is. This is heavy. Oh, yes. I love these stained glass candle holders. They're just like metal and stained glass. I don't even know if this is stained glass. It's, it's cracked like glass. Maybe it's some kind of like a melted something. If you know exactly what it is, is it glass or something else? But this one does have a couple cracks in it, but I think it's gonna look so pretty on the mantle. And I have a couple of these, so I'm sure I'll be unboxing some more here soon. Mrs. Claus? Yay! There she is. Look at how sweet. Oh, she's adorable. And there they are together as a set. What's in here? Ah, here we go. I told you guys, I love these things. <laughs> I think there's more in the box too. There's this one with candle. And you'll put a candle behind it. It's gonna be beautiful. Set that right there. Another one of those. Got a couple more things in the box. 
this cute little votive holder it says Sandy on it. Those snowmen. So cute. I'm not sure the date on that. Then I have four of these little guys. These are just little teacups. They're all the same. But I just love these little, look at their eyelashes. So sweet. And maybe that's why I like them. They're little cherry cheeks. Oh, hey, a good one. <laughs> so I won't open all of them if they're in here, but see how much better? It's not all faded. So I'll definitely keep these ones and then probably donate or sell these ones. We've got one more set of things and they all look the same and I think I know what they are. So we've got one more thing in this box. Now, I got these <laughs> at a thrift store, I believe, and I kind of scoured all the thrift stores and what was cool is I think I got this on like a 25% off day or a 50% off day, so I only paid 50 cents a piece for these, but I have the whole set or six of them because I think I have six places at my table and I just love these so much. Like I said, my mom had this pattern of glassware and plates so it's gonna be fun to kind of have my own now and then every time I look at it I can think of my mom well I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing I have a lot more boxes to unbox and I hope you guys stick around for those videos to come out soon I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and we'll see you next time <music>